Hi, in this video we are going to talk about plants, their classification, and some interesting facts related to them. It also could be useful for those who are preparing for TOEFL or IELTS examinations. According to some estimates, about 80% of the original world forest have been cut down by now. So also with this video I would like to raise our awareness about how important it is to save our beautiful planet. What most plants have in common is their structure that usually includes roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. However, there are seedless and flowerless plants as well. One classification is based on the so-called growth habit, which shows the height and the shape of a plant. Here we have herbs, shrubs, trees, climbers and creepers. Most people believe that herbs are only grass, but this group of herbaceous plants also includes tomatoes, wheat, bananas and carrots. Unlike herbs, shrubs do have a woody stem. Natural landscapes dominated by shrubs are called a shrubland, and in gardens and parks it is called shrubbery. Some examples Oleander, highbush blueberry, some types of croton, rosemary, lemon, jasmine. Do you know that trees are the longest living organisms on Earth and they can communicate with one another via the underground network of fungi, exchanging nutrients and sending alarm signals? I will say a few words about the amazing um, world or kingdom of fungi at the end of this video. Trees and bushes can be deciduous and evergreen. The leaves of deciduous trees change color and shed in autumn. Examples bunion tree, maple, ash tree, the mahogany tree, also different types of linden, elm, oak, willow and birch. Evergreen trees are green all year round and do not shed seasonally. Most evergreens are also coniferous, which means they possess needles and cones. Examples flowering gum tree, different types of fir trees and pines, eastern juniper tree, the red spruce tree, coast redwood tree, also known as sequoia. They have a life expectancy of more than a thousand years. By the way, ginkgo is one of the oldest living tree species. It dates back to about 250 million years ago. It seems like a lot of plants are used for medicinal purposes, but in fact only 1% of rainforest plants have been studied if they could be used for that. Can you imagine what a huge potential it has for the future, possible future medical breakthroughs? However, of those that have been studied, 68% are facing extinction in the near future. What a loss for the humanity. Creepers are plants that grow horizontally on the ground. Examples are watermelon, strawberry, pumpkin, creeping myrtle. Unlike creepers, climbers or climbing plants grow vertically, but for that they need an external support like tendrils. For example, grapevine, runner beans, green peas, ivy, calabash. By life cycle, the plants are commonly classified into annuals, biennials, and perennials. Annuals complete their life cycle during a single season. Most annuals are herbaceous, for example, corn, rice, wheat, pulses. It takes two years for biennials to complete their life cycle, and this group includes carrot, cabbage, onions, beetroot. And perennials have a lifespan that is longer than two years, like roses, lavender, lilies. By a life cycle, we understand the process of plant development from seed to seed. It means a root grows out of a seed, then appears a shoot or a stem, which produces leaves and flowers and fruits that produce seeds. This is a life cycle of a plant. Because of the fact that, botanically speaking, only fruit can have seeds, there is some confusion in defining certain plants. For example, strawberries, avocados, cucumbers and pumpkins are fruits. Peanuts are not nuts, but legumes, which are related to beans and lentils. When used as a dry grain, the legume seed is also called a pulse. Other well-known legumes include soybeans, lentils, lupins, mesquite, carob, tamarind, alfalfa, and clover. The earth has more than 80,000 species of edible plants. Dandelion is completely edible, from the petals to the roots. You can even try making dandelion wine. 
So far, we have talked mostly about plants that grow in the wild. Now, let's take a look at some typical garden flowers. Daffodil, daisy, gardenia, lily, pansy, petunia, orchid, tulip, violet. Do you know that once the tulip was more expensive than gold? In the 17th century, it was so rare that the price of a bulb reached the equivalent of $1,500 nowadays. What is also important to know is that some plants can literally kill you. Some poisonous plants are water hemlock, deadly nightshade, white snake root, rosary pea, oleander. You can see some of these plants in one place, the poison garden at England's Annick Garden. As I said before, at the end of this video, I want to say a few words about fungi, or also pronounced as fungi. People usually associate fungi with mushrooms, but in fact mushrooms are only a small part of a huge fungi network that is hidden underground. They are the fungi's fruit. And what is important to mention, fungi are not plants, they form a separate botanic kingdom, and biologically fungi so mushrooms as well, are more related to animals, including humans, than to plants. So, I should not be speaking about mushrooms in this video. This is all for now. I hope you found this video useful. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and send me your thumb up. And I'm also looking forward to uh, your questions, your comments, any other response. Goodbye!